they come to the word of God. When the word of God say don't do, don't do. When the word of God say do, do. But, you know, sometimes we, ain't, we, ain't, we are not a perfect people. So let's not get that twisted. But the thing about it is, is that God wants us to come to him and inquire in his temple. That's what the mm-hmm. song say, that we inquire in your temple. We go to God's temple, no matter where you at, in the house, on the job, or whatever, that we can inquire of God in situations. Sometimes we have situations on our job. We got to be real careful. Sometimes I have to hold my tongue on my job because I can, I can get in the flesh on my job. Even sometimes, you know, around family, you can get in you can get in your flesh if you ain't careful. If you ain't careful, you can't get in flesh. Amen. Amen. Also, um, verse 9. Wherefore thou hast despised the commandments of the Lord to do evil in his sight. Thou hast killed Uriah with the sword, and has taken his wife to be thy wife, and has slain him with the sword and the children of Ammon. Let me take some in, in um, Uriah was a Hittite. The Hittites used to be enemies of the Lord. But still yet, um, Uriah was faithfully to the, um, he was faithful to serving David in the, in the army of the Lord. He was faithful. So sometimes we, we, we got to be careful uh, um, when, when people from other languages, other nations, other countries come in and want to worship us. We got to love them the same way. Amen. Amen. Verse 10, and the sword said never. Verse 9, no, verse 10 says, says, Now therefore the sword never shall depart from thy house, because thou hast despised me, and hast taken thy wife, Uriah the Hittite, to be thy wife. 11, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will raise up evil against thee. Oh my God. Thy own, in thy own house. I take thy wives before thy eyes and give them unto thy neighbor, and he shall lie with thy wives and in the sight of the son. I'm telling you, <laughs> God sure know how to pay back if we ain't careful. God sure enough but but will expose you in front of people, before the world, before the church, or however. You know, that's that's what God's punishment was to David. Because David, because I'm telling you. David was God's man. But because he did what he did, God had to, in God's sight, had to do such a thing. Because he tried to cover it up. And sometimes we try to cover up, you know, eyeless, eyeless sins and stuff. We run, and, and not only that, we hold malice in our heart. We, we hold all kind of uh, disdain like for people. We hold all, I mean, if, if God can and shine the light on our heart, we'll be surprised we don't like him. But who despise who? And what and, and, and the thing about it is, because of that, God wants us to go back, you know, to the people that that you know we have something against. Because the Bible said that if you got any alt against your brother or your sister, you know, go to them. Don't hold it. Just like his name was covered up for like almost about five months. I think after Uriah died, I think that's when he had the baby. That's how long he was holding it. And, some, and, 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 and even in our own heart, we hold stuff against other people. But when the word of God came, when, when, when Nathan came to David to expose him, to, show, um, to expose him, to let him know God see. What you did. He know how you did it, when you did it, and why you did it. And that's just like us. As, a, as God's people. We have to go back to people and expose that's what's in our hearts for them. In other words, we got to go back and make it right. Maybe something might happen two years ago, three years ago. It's good. Don't don't, don't let that stuff linger in your heart because God really want to bless us. You know, one thing about God, he don't bless no mess. He don't do it. And that's how, that's, and that's the love of God because he wants you to be clear. You know, he wants you to be free. 
He don't want mess in your heart. You know when, when you go to an outing and you might see somebody and you get them the cold shoulder and you and, and, and they wonder why why this person acting like this towards me because you got something in your heart and steady because God gave us the, the the Holy Spirit to be bold and be courageous. You know that we can put Satan in his place. Right? And, and at that time, Satan has uh, took up so much of your heart for that person. You know, you, you disdain that person. You, 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 every time you see that person, you got this ill will feeling that he's doing it God's way. And, and, we, and, 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 and God was telling David, you despise my commandments. In other words, you despise my word the way I tell you to do a, such a thing. I need for you to do that. And that's bringing peace with your brothers or your sister, families, whoever. Mm -hmm. God wants you to go to them and get that thing right. Say, say let it linger. Really, really, um, David thought he got away with something until Nathan the prophet showed up. Mm -hmm. And some other man he got away <laughs> when Sir Bob Jackson showed up. <laughs> they expose some of that stuff that if you watch him by um, social media, if you got something in your heart that's been sitting up for a long time, thinking you're going to get away with it, you are not. Amen. That's why God had this message to come to you that you may go back and make that thing right. That stuff that's been lingering in your heart for your family member, even your ex or whoever. You need to be clear. Your heart needs to be clear that the Holy Spirit can rule and reign in your heart. Amen. 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 Amen.